Hello! Good evening po sa inyong lahat mga kasandugo. San man kayo panig ng mundo na roon. Magandang gabi po, magandang umaga at magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. Welcome back po muli sa ating channel, ang Mangyan Tribe. So ngayon mga kasandugo, ang ating pong uh, ipapakita sa inyo ay isang testimony ng ating kapatid kung paano ang buhay niya ay binago ng ating Panginoong Hesus. Tunghayan po natin at mabless po tayo sa kanyang testimony. Narito po. I know what's the content but I don't exactly remember the words the exact will be uttered. And I am so sorry. Hindi ba? Second realization. Pangatlo. Pangdating ko dito. Nagtanong ako, pare, may lighter ka ba dyan? <laughs> Kasi ako nang inigarin niyo ako. No, oh my. But when I accept the truth, Naniniwala ba kayo sa love at first sight? Yeah. For those who said yes, congratulations. Because I experienced it here. Unang araw ko pa lang dito, parang, Oh Lord, love at first sight. Sobrang mahal ko na yung mga tao. This is the people that you say, oh Lord. Parang, parang, they are so good to be true. Nakita ko yung kitchen, I know where I belong. I know where I will work with because I am a good cook. But you know, hindi lang ako naging mahusay ng nagluluto at nagserve. For those who is um, sino man yung nakakain na nagluto ko, you know what's the secret recipe? It's not magic, it's not. It's not more. The recipe is when you pray, when you cook, you pray. When you When you are actually preparing the food, you are actually asking God, Lord, bless these hands of mine so that these people of yours will feel more blessed because of the providence that you're going to give me with my hand. And it works. It really, really works. So there is no secret measurement that you can actually deal with in order for you to serve God. It is just a full dedication with the heart. Ganun lang po yun. Ika-apat, no? Two minutes na lang. Um, noon, pag ako nagpatugtog, take me down to the Paradise City, noon yun. Rocks are out, no more sentiments, no more love song, all hill song. Amen! Diba? Diba? When you pray, dati, dati, ang halit mo! Okay na ganyan! Ngayon, ang, ang, ang kanta mo na yung Lord, I offer my life. Diba? Diba? You are actually praying while you are actually singing. And that is actually a miracle. So for those people na how I wish they were able to see me from from before to what I have now, they can I can actually say that they are going to see a miracle. Dati, hindi mo ko pwedeng pagsabihan na. Uy, bakit kaya ginagawa ko? Hindi maganda yan, di tama yan. Noon, pag ako pinagsabihan mo na ganyan, ang sagot ko siya, wow, who the hell are you? Noon, noon. Iba na, ngayon. Ngayon, pag pinagsabihan mo ako, praise God, thank you Lord for this enlightenment that you have given this people to brighten my heart and enlighten my people. Noon, noon. Tapos, noon, wala na akong nag- 
Sabi ko, I'm a Catholic. Nagsisimba ko, I pray, I work so hard, I kneel, I ask for forgiveness. Pero ngayon, nagbago yun eh. You know why? One time, tumawag ako sa Pilipinas. Sabi ko sa nanay ko, nanay ko, nagmumura, nagmumura, nagsasalita na ko ano ano. Ay, naku, yung P, ay, na talaga niya. Ma, how much money do you need? Ito, ama, ama, ama. O sige po, ipapagana ko yan. Just one request. Please, guard your heart. Just like what Ate Dina said a while ago. Guard your heart. Sumunod na naman. Okay, now settlement has been done. Second na. Second time. Tumawag ako ulit. O sige, talaga yung kapatid po talaga. Mga mga nang isip. Ang ganda ka naman. Okay, ma. Magkano kailangan para ma-accept na kanya. Itong amo, ipapatan ako in one condition. Ano, guard your heart na naman. No, ma. Guard your heart and guide your ears. So that you are going to be blessed and feel more blessed than people who are after this one. And you know what? It works. Ngayon, pag nagsasalita ng nanay ko, Ma, anong problema? Hindi na mainit ako ba? Hindi na siya nagmumura. O diba? Lahat naman kasi, sabi ko nga, nakukuha sa maayos ng usapan at ng matinong pananalita. Pagkatapos, alam niyo ba? Ito tayo sa puto, being a Christian. Alam niyo ba, pag ako nagdo-don't watch, I don't ask for prayer. Why? Sa dinami, dami ng gawang minaliko sa buhay ko. Oh, pagin sa kalod ko. Of all the mistakes that I had committed in my life, realization ko, alam niyo ko, am I entitled to ask? Am I really entitled to ask for more? After all, what I am receiving now, I don't deserve that. Wala akong deserve kung ano man ang meron ako ngayon. But He is actually a real God and true God and a, and a powerful God. Kasi kahit hindi ko ibinigay, kahit hindi ko i-deserve, kahit even if the things that I don't deserve, ibinibigay niya. So why should I ask for more? I can actually ask for somebody else. But I, can, I cannot ask something more for myself. Because He had given me more than what I am expecting. Kaya nga, naniniwala ako dun sa power of giving. We have several sources of power of giving. It can be tithes, it can be love gift, it can be just a simple presence, it can be a sacred symbol. Right? Pero alam nyo, gaano, ako, I admit, nandito lang ako since October, October, I never experienced to give thanks. Alam nyo bakit? Sabi ko, Lord, sayang ang 10%. Lord, sayang ang 10%. Pero maniwala ka, Lord, sabi ko. Gaano ba ako karamot? Ang damot ko. Asawa ko. Successful yan, nasa katap. Anak ko, college graduate dyan, nagpatrabaho na. Ako, nasa abroad. Hindi ako makapagmalas. Gaano ako kasama? Gaano ako karamot kay Lord? Pagkatapos na lahat ng ginagawa ni Lord para sa akin, ikaw, ano realization mo? Kasi ako, sabi ko, sabi ni Lord, 10%, ibigay mo. Now my heart is open. My pocket is open. Lord, 20%, go Lord, for you, Lord. Di ba? Para, Lord, higit pa dyan, because all of these are actually coming from you. And I am not expecting this kind of, of goodness for a certain sinner and immaculate, uncleaner person like me. Diba? Tapos yung, alam mo yung the power of kindness, yung noon, pag pinagsabihan mo ako, ah, oh, hindi ako nag-aral ng pitong taon sa kuleyo, yung dalawang taon sa master, para ganyanin ko. Gusto mo, bakutin ko yung alang mo? Ganyan ako, noon. Pero ngayon, iba na. When somebody is going to say something uncomplimentary about you, say what you want to say, but I am going to guard my heart, I'm going to guide my lips, I'm going to seal my heart, and I'm just going to close my lips because I don't want to feel, I, I don't want to feel the, the, yung, ah, mahirap ang yung, ayoko masisi sa kulay, because words are actually dynamic weapon that will hurt the inner part of our hearts, at ayoko masisi, magsisi na ako ngayon, kasi magsisi ako pag hindi mo pala. Diba? And yung innermost prayer for 25 years for those na talaga pala lapit sa akin. They know what is my innermost prayer. Sabi ko, Lord, siya na lang talaga ang kulang. Lord, 25 years, 20 years, hinihingi ko sa'yo ito. Bakit hindi mo maibigay? I was crying. 
Nagdamdam ako kay Lord. Sorry po. Nagtampo ako kay Lord. Mabait akong anak. Lord, the reason why I am really working so hard because I have parents to bed with. Dahil anak ako, nanay ako, tita ko at kapatid ako, na may kailangan akong supportahan. Pero bakit ganito? But now when you accepted Jesus, No more doubts. Learn to surrender. When you surrender, ang gaang ng feeling. Diba? Ang gaang ng feeling na ayaw mo? Eh, di na huwag. Ganda naman eh. Di naman halata may problema, diba? Why? Because now, I am calling the Lord Jesus. And that is actually So, yun yung mga pagbabago. There is a divine provet. Um, there is actually a divine providence. There is a divine intervention. And during the time na magulo, di maintindihan, just cry, cry, iyak, ngang ngang, miyak, miyak, hanggang gusto mo. Because these cries are actually sending back to heaven, and God is actually listening. Kaya nga, di nyo ba napansin na kapag umiiyak kayo? Biglang there is a relief. Not just because, siguro hindi pa na ipaprocess din. Hindi pa, uh, uh, maybe, maybe because God did not yet answer your prayer, but He actually started answering it. And it's now in progress, it's now in process. It is now your duty responsibility to make it work things out. Right? So, yun yung mga pagbabago. Ano pa? The most dynamic one is, dati kasi pag ako nagdasal, dasal. Make it a habit. Noon, ang gagaling na lang magdasal dito, bilid na bilid ako, ang galing talaga. Sabi ko, Lord, sa ati Kim, ang galing manalangin talaga sa ati tayo na gusto ko maging katulad nila, Lord, bakit ganun? Bakit wala ako ganun? So the process is little by little, talk to them. One sentence, oh, simple sentence, complex sentence, paragraph mo. Ngayon, Lord, kaya ko na magsalaysa and I am now in front of you. So kaya ako nandito not just to tell you how how wonderful life is. Nandito ako sa harap ninyo as a baptized and believer of Christian na naniniwala at nagpapatunay that God is working. And you have not just to open your lips, not just to feed your mind, not just to open your heart, but let the mind, the lips, and the heart channel that in every individual, in every Christian that you have, the real essence of Christianity and believing is actually existing in you. So, yun lamang po, realization-wise, disclaimer po, um, hindi ako nagsasabi na isa na ako mabait na tao, mabait naman talaga ako. Problema. Pero, it's a version, a higher version. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po sa buhay ng lahat.